I'm Jason Albro. I'm the EVP of the East. <laughs> I, I literally didn't hear a word he said. Hello, I'm Jason Albro. I'm the EVP of uh, the West of Mexico. And today, Stephen has me sitting here on camera again. Truly, I like every kind of music from jazz to hard rock and metal, but probably lean a little more to the hard rock and metal and absolutely a Metallica fan. Uh, so right now, one that drives me up the wall is when you're talking to somebody and they just pick up their phone and they sit there and you're talking you're in the middle of a conversation they just start typing away and you, you realize they're paying no attention to you whatsoever. It's the equivalent of you walking up to me on the street, we start talking and then you just turn away and walk away right in the middle of it. It definitely drives me crazy. Uh, first job was a paper boy uh, when I was 13 years old <laughs> and I remember some of those rainy days there was one in particular, I would strap all my papers across the front of my bike and you'd go riding blocks away and I literally went down hard in the middle of the street and I was there for a long time, or it seemed like in my head a really long time. I have never really had a, a bad job. In high school I had a job working at a bait shop. I literally would dip minnows, <laughs> which wasn't so bad, I liked to fish and everything, but what was strange about the job you would literally walk six feet away and I'd also go be a short order cook. I'd go scramble eggs and hash browns and then turn right around and go over and dip minnows. The good part of the job was we sold beer at this place when I was in high school. Yeah, so probably my favorite Klockner memory was when the executive team here recently, about a year ago, got to do the West Point leadership training. That was an absolutely incredible team building experience with our whole executive team. Long time ago, I used to do some rappelling. Kind of had a fear of heights. I thought this was some great way to get over it. And I remember I went up into Colorado. I was all by myself. And the first time I tied off, and you looked down over that side, and I was like, you know, you checked everything 15 times. I just remember that that butterfly thing that I had in my stomach. That was uh, that was pretty nerve wracking, but I got over it. Probably a childhood thing. I remember my grandpa taking me quail hunting for the first time. I had uh, couldn't even sleep the whole night before. I literally was up all night. Couldn't wait to go out and go hunting with him. And I know how exciting that is, and how I want to take my kids and someday my grandkids. We really had a fantastic day that day walking all through the woods. Love to do that again. Sushi. Great. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs>